Hi everybody, Simply Sweet Gemini here. Thank you for stopping by at my channel. Uh, today's video, I just wanted to share with you the coloring pages that I completed for the month of October. So some of these pictures you will recognize from uh, my Halloween Color It tag video, but um, I hope you enjoy anyway. I was able to get about 27 pages done, so let me share them with you. So the first picture that I did was in uh, The Colors of Nature, and this is a Creative Moments coloring series book. So I just did um, these two. So actually I bought a um, acrylic dragonfly glaze and I originally thought that it was going to be black paint with like color shifting sparkle, but it's actually a clear paint. So I just decided to try it anyway and I think it came out with a pretty cool effect. So these pictures are super detailed and I'm not really interested in coloring every little pattern so I thought painting over it would be a cool idea. So in this cat head, I actually used um, black acrylic paint and then painted the uh, dragonfly glaze over top. So the shift is supposed to be blue to green to violet. So it's pretty neat looking. So I'll definitely try that out on another page later on. Um, in this book, I also did uh, this picture. So basically I used um, black acrylic paint for half of the spider and then the other half I used a neon orange gel pen to complete. And I thought that this one came out pretty cool. So this one, it didn't require too many color choices. So it was pretty fun to do. Uh, the next book that I colored in was in the um, Dreamlings 3 book and this one is by Edwina McNamee so these aren't in any particular order I just picked them out this way um, so I wanted to do some fall vibes um, colorings because it is uh, October now so um, this is one that I did so I tried to do like a warm tone palette with this one and most of this is done in Bic markers and I used a bit of the Jelly Roll uh, sparkle pens. So the, her dress is done with metallics and I thought that it turned out pretty cool. Um, another one that I did is uh, this bunny family and this was all just straight coloring with markers. And the last one in this book that I did uh, was also another um, fall themed. So it's a jar of butterflies or moths. And I used um, Sharpie metallic markers for the border and a bit of stickles for around the jar so you can see the shine there. So that's for this book. Um, another one that I did was in the book Baby Dragons by Jade Summer. So besides the uh, fall scenery, I also wanted to do some like horror and like Halloween related things. So I decided to do uh, this dragon witch and this one and I thought that this one came out pretty cool even though um, it's just a limited color palette. And this was all straight markers and I did use a bit of uh, metallic gel pens for the spot. Uh, the next one I did was in the book Imagine Morphia by Kirby Rosanis. And this one you would have seen already. 
Um, it's from my Halloween color tag. This is the spider web I did. So again, the background was black acrylic paint. And then I just colored all the other elements in the web using um, Prismacolor pencils and some gel pens. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, it was very tedious to paint it in the little spots though. I had to use three different brush sizes to get this done. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this side, but uh, it might take me a while before I start this one. Um, and the next book I colored in was the uh, Pusheen coloring book. And this one is by Claire Belton. So one of the dids, I, the one of the pictures I did was this um, autumn mandala. So it's got the Pusheen cat in a pile of leaves, some acorns. And some of these I actually used the Pusheen uh, reference videos or pictures for just because I like the way that they choose their color palettes. Um, in this book I also did a few other ones. So I did this patterned one and this is all done in um, pencils because the paper is kind of thin so I'm worried that it'll if I use any markers it'll likely go through. This one when you would have seen in my Halloween color it tag. And there is some uh, clear gel pen for the ghosts. Just to add some sparkle. And the last one I did in this book, this one. Just a bunch of like little repeat patterns and cute designs. That was in the Pushin coloring book. Um, the next book that I worked in was the Cute and Creepy uh, Pop Manga Coloring Book by Camilla De Erico. And I've seen so many wonderful pictures of the ones that uh, people have completed uh, through YouTube, and I'm really looking forward to doing more in this book for sure. Um, this cat one I did with. Uh, some metallic purple paint and then the uh, pumpkins and the cat are done with the uh, ink tense pencils. It was my first time trying them out so I really like the effect it gave and uh, the pumpkin head around the kitty is actually uh, done with Prismacolors. So I really like the way this one came out. Um, and then another one I did in this book was this ghost. So the ghost itself was done with um, Inktense pencils. And then I did um, some dragonfly glaze for the eyes and tongue. And then the background was painted all with the black acrylic paint. And I added holographic stickles to the ghosts. Originally I wanted to... The do the ghosts in um, alternating candy corn colors, like of orange, yellow, and white. But after I did the main ghost this color, I decided that less is more in this instance. So I just want to leave it a little more plain. But I think the ghost pops and I really like the page. So those are the two I've done in here so far. Uh, the next book that I worked in was the um, Autumn Magic by Edwina McNamee. So in this book, I did um, two pictures. So this is the first one. And this was done mostly in colored pencils. I used uh, Black Widows for this. And I just accented it with some of the um, metallics and glitter gel pens. So this one turned out to be a really colorful page. And I really like this one. It did take a long time though um, to color through and do all the shading. But I like the effect. And then I also did uh, this page. And I did this all in uh, Ohuhu markers. And 
and I do like the way it came out. The colors are super bright. This is the first picture I've done with those alcohol markers. So I think it came out pretty cool. Um, I used the Pentel Sparkle Pop metallic pens for some of the details like her hair and the grass. So it gives it a cool shine. I was too lazy to do the background on this one, but I think that it looks good with white because if I did the black background, I think the bats would kind of disappear a bit. So I'm happy with this one. Uh, the next book I did pictures in were um, the Coloring Heaven Dreamtime Special Edition. So I did this one, which you would have seen in my tag video, which I'll probably link it in the bottom anyway, so that you can see all the pictures that I chose for that tag. Um, but this one was done with both markers and pencils. And I do like the way that all the details came out. So I tried to use like more of a cool tone palette for this. And I did use some gel pens just to make things sparkle a bit. Um, I also did another one in here. I did the image number 20. It's the girl with the owl headdress. And um, this one's pretty fun to do. Uh, I tried to look at some pictures of owls and copy the uh, wing patterns on this. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the crystals, so it was a little weird to do <laughs> these colors, but just wanted to try it out anyway. And I used um, the Pentel Sparkle Pop on her lips. That's why it's so shiny. Overall, I do like this picture. Working more on skin tones, as you can see. Just trying to improve on that aspect. This one came out pretty bright. Uh, the next book that I worked in was the uh, Coloring Heaven Frightlings Halloween edition. And in this one I did picture number 23, Limbo Zombieling. And I did use a reference photo to do this. Uh, I basted it all with Ohuhu markers. Um, so you can kind of see in the back. So I did do that and then using um, Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love uh, Technique, I added some uh, pencil on top to do the shading. And I think it turned out pretty cool. That was a zombie picture. Um, next one, getting down to the end here. Uh, I did do this uh, coloring page. So it's actually an image out of the Tokidoki coloring pad. I just did decided to photocopy it and then just do it here. So um, I did most of this with the markers and then the background is all done in pencils. So this one was a fun one to do. Um, following along the theme of another Tokidoki image, um, I colored in the coloring book and this is the one that I did. So this is the Tokidoki Inferno pattern and I used reference photos just to get it more closely resemble what things are supposed to look like. Um, I really like this one. I have um, a Tokidoki bag with this pattern as well, so I thought it was right to do it this way. So this one was all done in markers and some gel pens for just added uh, sparkle and pop. Really like the way this one came out, super bright. Um, and the last book that I colored in this month was uh, the Chibi Horror Grayscale Coloring Book by Jade Summer. And I did do a lot of pictures in this one because I had a lot of fun doing the grayscale coloring. So in no particular order, let me get through them and show you. 
So I did this vampire girl and I actually used um, Danielle from Danny Button's coloring challenge. So she said to do um, black and grays uh, with only one color selection. So I decided to do different shades of grays and um, do red as my color pop. So I'm not sure if you're allowed to use different shades of red or just one shade. Um, but I tried to stick with just one thing and I used um, just some matching red gel pen to kind of add some sparkle to it. And I really like the way that it turned out. I think this image is perfect for kind of this old fashioned black and white look. So I thought this was pretty cool. It was fun to do, except kind of hard to find so many shades of gray. Uh, the next picture that I did in this one was this mummy. And this one was done all with uh, Ohuhu markers. And I just used a white gel pen to make the gems look like they're sparkling. So I really like this one. Uh, the next one I did was this one. I actually finished this page uh, just yesterday. Um, this one was really fun to do and I used some Pentel Sparkle Pop at the bottom to make the water glitter and just these animal eyes. And the next one I did in here was this one. So that's the girl running through the sewer with some worms, grubs. <laughs> and these are fun. I just do straight coloring in these, no additional shading whatsoever. And I think it comes out pretty cool looking already. I did this one and I did use um, some stickles for her stockings and her, the bows in her hair. This one turned out pretty cool. Very fun looking. Uh, the next one I did was this one. And again, I used um, the color challenge. So um, I used grays and green. So this one I did use different shades of green just to add a bit of interest to the picture. So it's the zombie girl. And I put glitter for her eyes. So I really like the way this one turned out. These ones are actually really fun to do. I might do more pictures with um, the limited palette. And then the last one I did was um, the sorceress picture. And I did use some uh, dragon glaze in the smoke to add a bit of sparkle. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. Um, but yeah, so those are all of the pictures that I did for the month of October. Um, I know that there's going to be a couple of uh, color alongs and tags going on in the month of November. So I do look forward to participating in them. And I hope that today you enjoyed watching the video of my completed pages. And will stay tuned for my next video when it comes out. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.